commentaries you guys have been asking how to solo squad but this one's a little bit different this is how to start solo quadding so the main focus about these two games are going to be the start how to start if you don't want to go ahead and like land supers or land anywhere hot off drop this is a video for you guys man it's something that kind of ease your way in because as soon as you drop into solo quad it's going to be highly intimidating 1v4 in or 1v tending people off rip if you land superstar if you're not ready for that just yet this is a video for you man this is a bit of an introduction to it and we're going to start this series up and how to solo squad and right now we're focusing on the beginning part of the game i'm sure you guys two gameplays man it's how i get situated how i get my loadout and of course it's not the super fast paced kill start like we have when we go super store but it's an easy way to get your loadout easy way to get a cup uh, a couple quick kills and so forth once you get this uh, technique down we can start getting easy in back into superstore picking up the kills going for the mid end game plays and so forth so if you guys like these uh live commentaries man make sure you guys leave a like on the comment section below and uh overall man just let me know what you guys think we're back with the live commentaries solo squads the whole time so if you're new to the channel this is your first video please 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 make sure you guys uh go ahead and subscribe we're close to 8k subscribers hopefully you get 10k by april my birthday so i hope you guys enjoyed the video man and if you're stopping by the stream tonight twitch.tv slash lucky we will see you guys there peace out guys oh boss 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 rewind wait a second we uh the next video we'll be doing is a 39 kill uh squad gameplay it's how to split and also play as a team in solo squad so it'll be a little bit different all right guys enjoy the video and peace out we're trying to go for the pick out the air miss out on that our goal is to get the heli. Got okay, one guy down low, one guy up top. We can find a weapon, we should be chilling. Get another knock here, hopefully. I need the boys. We just ran into the boys. After we reload it, we go for the peak, kind of clean up everything we left. Boom, $900, not much just yet. Now, we have a lot of kills, so that's gonna give us breathing room to kind of slow it down and to try to get our loadout. We could have brought the heli here so we don't have to run back, but again, I am just trying to pick up the pace as fast as I can. We can go and get our loadie. Now, I am playing this a little bit different than I've done other solo quad games. Instead, I'm making sure that I get situated before I kind of speed up my gameplay and I start playing a little bit more aggro. Nice. Now we're good to go. Be ready to fly and fry. Now, this was the team that was actually hunting me. We got to keep that in mind. They might be pushing me. They might not. Ideally, this isn't the team we want to fight just yet because they'll have a sense of direction where I'm at, even though I have ghosts. So instead, what we're gonna do is we can get a UAV. We're gonna fight our UAV, and then once we probably get our kill off this team, we can go back because we only have a minute left till my bounty's shot. Pop, pop this. There we go. So we have a lot more kills to go for instead of kind of going and getting chased around by a team that knows exactly where I'm at because of that bounty. These guys have a sense of direction, but I'm not confident that they can kill me just yet. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for reason. With the full kill right away. What the fuck? 
And he tagged. Yep, 41 meters. He might be running out the back now. Let's try and play the revive. He's going for a repeat now. There it is. So you can kind of tell where those players are at just by their movement and where you see them on your radar. Because as that player's moving in, I don't know exactly where he's at, right? That that radar's not gonna tell me, oh, he's up top, down low, he left, right, down, up, none of that. But the if you know the direction you're looking and the loadout of the building, you can kind of tell where they're gonna peek from, where they're gonna slay from, and all that good stuff. So as his uh as his marker pulled a little bit closer towards me, I was like, alright. I already checked the top floor, he's not there. The only other side he could be peeking me from, unless he's just moving around the building, is gonna be the bottom left window. So you're able to kind of see and play off that. When pop this right away, so you can pick up the precision of this bounty as well. So if we're not getting any tags, instead of running around like a hellish chicken hoping to get a tag, instead of what we're gonna do is oh, we're gonna get the bounty and use this as because this will 100% pull towards the player no matter what. We're getting sniped up as well. We don't want to find out where those guys are at. Instead, we'll go play this bounty team. Go from there. We're gonna leave this here. We'll go from a direction they don't expect. Which is gonna be on the stairs. We'll get a couple of hits on him. Now this puts us at um Holy A la He's gonna go for the heli. So our heli will probably get grabbed right now. Unless we could stop it. Uh. Oh, oh lag. Why would you go outside? Yeah, that was not a good play by them. Actually, they end up helping me get that kill rather easy because we ran on the outside rather than inside. And we get some of their loot. Now I got 9k, so I can start cycling the bounties. So I wanted to hold that angle and hopefully go for my full kill because when you get one knock, especially in solo quads, if possible, going for the solo. Now, uh, I'm enhancing the word if possible. If possible, going for the full kill is going to be huge. But if you can't go for it, don't go for it. Right there, I had an angle. I was in cover. They were up top. I knew I was chilling. But also, going for the full kill can be dangerous because if you if you if you don't play it right, you could actually end up dying. Right there, it ended up being very rather easy again, based off their position alone. We have guys here, red. They're also gonna be down low. I think they're on the left hand side. No, I was able to get full kill before I died. I thought they were both in the same pocket. GG's. No self res. No. The reason why we don't buy self res so early on is because I saw Gooch. So if I die, all I gotta do is go back, try to win the Gooch, and come back. Nice. Got a nice win on the Gouge. Now I'm sitting at 15 kills. Now this is a hard part based off of all recovery. We can go back and try to get our guns, but he's getting held out. Now we'll see if we see any shots. If he's already got, if this team, this guy already has died because there's only one left. And all we got to do is land, get our guns, and we'll be chilling. This hospital won't be looking anymore. So we're going to play the 50-50. Okay, we're going to go a far right rotation. We don't want to get caught up in this. No, oh, and we did. If I can pick up his teammate. Now we're gonna slow it down here a bit. And the reason being is we made a lot of noise. A hospital or a helicopter just crashed. We know there's a team hospital and there's guys still alive. And I know this guy alive is gonna push into us. Let me get one more peek. But he could possibly be holding us out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back inside red. 
gonna use this to rotate out don't want my gas mask we're gonna throw it off first before we go for a rotation we'll use this and we want to slow it down because if we make too much noise as soon as we just you know blew up a whole ass helicopter off rip everybody's gonna be looking in the direction they're looking for movement at least a good player will be so instead of dealing with that situation i'm gonna go ahead and disengage play myself don't need to go for the full kills just yet and instead just play down a little bit slower he's gonna pop but don't need to That should help me out a lot. Guy behind me. Not dead yet. Enemy UAV Coughing. So, hell is going to be highly contested. I think if we can get it, we should be chilling. We still have 80, 71, 79, 68. We should jump right now. So, it's going to be top heavy. A lot of people are going to be heading downtown in that area. Get a couple kills. A guy under us. He's going to leave the game. So go for those heli plays off rip if you are able to get the heli right off right off the get-go I always like to hold off and float just a little bit before I fly away Because there's a chance that a lot of people are gonna be contesting you in the air So if you hold it like that you're able to get it kind of get a couple kills like that now That's the one downside about playing solo quads is that you actually It's a lot harder to get your loadout and get eco flowing just because you're solo and by yourself And of course, I don't usually have that problem when you go super sore, but again for those of you guys who are who are just getting to solo quads, I get this question a lot, and, and how to do it and so forth. It, it, it's like, oh, we're gonna go. Wow, his mic is brutal, huh? These are the new pistols. Very cool, very stylish. I like them. $2,400, not a UV just yet. So we're a bit on the slower end just because we don't have our cash flow. But now with that bounty and the other bounty getting poached, should be good. us 11 meters down low we could go for a cheeky dmr play that actual smoke ended up helping more me than it did him we'll kill on him hey keep that in mind go for another area yeah he's right in front of us We'll get the full kill on him. Also, stopping power as well. I'm gonna throw it on my DMR because the pistols, I mean, they, they do enough damage, and so does the DMR. But in all honesty, I, I think having it on the DMR at range and be able to putting them down a lot faster would be a little bit more suitable for my play style. But look where we're at on the map, real quick. We're in a perfect choke position to hold these guys out. I'm pretty sure this guy is self. This is the guy we want to watch out for. This guy on the wall. All we have to do now is rotate in. We should be chilling. I do want to chase this guy out. See what I could do. It, try it seems like he's trying to hit this buy station. Good thing is he doesn't have ghost. So it's about a clearing, clean sweep down to kind of kill him. As long as we, you know, everything falls in our direction, we don't get third party. I also don't want a tunnel vision on him alone, so I'm gonna make sure I'm keeping my eye open for any other third parties coming in. He's gonna get them all up. The only person with the gun is gonna be the guy on the floor already on buy station. This is literally the only guy we have to worry about. Nice. 
nice. 17 kills now with 29 up. The SN circle isn't looking too hot. Um, nonetheless, actually, we're gonna start looking about the next step. Now, I can go for the choke point, like I said, and go for any kills and holdouts I, I was talking about. But ideally, if I do that, I would have to rotate all the way around. Damn. If I go up top and rotate now, I actually don't have to worry about it. I could still go for the choke point. I'll just be a little bit late to it. So, again, this is me prioritizing my rotation over the kills. And I think when it comes to end game like this, it, that's where it's more important to do so. The motto you guys can have is if you guys don't, if you guys can't kill them, if you guys know for a fact you guys won't kill them, don't shoot. Now, again, we decided to prioritize a rotation over the kills on this rotation, but the next rotation is where we'll start finding our kills. So we got to be ready for that. Okay, now that's a UAV can be popped. That's probably coming from this player because there's a buy station right near. And the only time you'll hear no UAV notification is when it's nearby you. We have shots right above us, one with the DMR. Go for a back backside approach for a minute and see what we could do. He's really, really close. I want to make sure I could see him before I just push in. Too much. I'm going to push in a little bit. Oh my god. Oh, I see one crossing. the cluster on there for the full kill I was trying to be able to knock him before I actually jumped over the wall we didn't get the full kill on that so we could assume that he got back up just is he gonna repeat or is he gonna keep running we gotta be aware of what he's gonna do start making some assumptions game has been rather slow without having a UAV actually two teams here we don't need to go for the full kill right away oh ttv by the way guy behind us Self revive right away. No, bro. That wasn't even the same team. Holy shit. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. GG's.